Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and make you feel amazing. All right, so here we go. Am I being cheap? Mm. I was watching a video. I was playing back a video that I uploaded recently and I was asked, answering some questions on said video. And I heard myself and I thought to myself, you tripping. And the reason why... Um, it kind of triggered in my brain, am I being cheap? It's because I thought about doing a video on like some designer fragrances that I thought were really good and beautiful for summertime, whether you're in like this spring light weather summer in other parts of the country, or you're like over here in the South where it's hot. And I was pulling these fragrances out. Some of these fragrances were in boxes. Some of these fragrances were just, you know, some random fragrances. And I was thinking to myself, um, are they affordable, right? Like, if I went to the mall to purchase this fragrance, since it's affordable, since a lot of y'all like to go to the mall, the counters at Macy's, some of y'all not comfortable with shopping, like on Joma Shop, Fragrance Net, whatever, even though there are people who are like buyers who list their fragrances on there. I know, because I know one personally that does, and he's authentic with getting his fragrances. Okay, another story. But anyway, I was like, am I being ridiculous? Because, like, this fragrance is like 110. For this small bottle that I barely sprayed, it doesn't last long, and here I am, you know, complaining about a fragrance that's amazing, smells good, I enjoy it on me, and it's $60. It's not even a dupe. Like, what's really going on? So, let's take it back. Um, Before my oldest, he's 23, 25, 26 years ago when I was a flight attendant, uh, one of my... Uh, buddy workers that used to fly with me on our buddy runs. Um, it's from the Middle East, and she the one put me on to the, I don't want to say it wrong, but like Bacor, the, the actual scents that we used to set our clothes with. Um, all the oils, the fragrances, when we used to travel to Dubai, especially on our days off, we would get all these cheap fragrances. I'm talking like 10 15 $20, right? $25. You would spray in the morning. We would have to be at the airport like six something, right? And we wouldn't get, like even with layovers and everything, um, late at night when it's time to bathe, it would still be on you. We wouldn't have to freshen up in between like flights. It wouldn't be strong and like, but it would just be on you. If you went to bed, woke up the next morning, you could still smell the scent on you, especially on your clothing. So we would have to be careful what we spread on our uniforms because our uniforms would hold and soak that scent in, right? Them thick uniforms with Continental Airlines. Okay. Listen, they used to be so cheap and so affordable. We were talking 25 years ago, right? So even at 25 years ago, fragrances that were like um, one ounce was probably like already $40, right, at the mall. And if you got like a three point some ounce fragrance, you would pay like the 100 bucks, right? And that would be it. If that, right? And depends on what fragrance brand. Let's just say that. Now, today, present day, if you got a one ounce, one point seven ounce girl, it's like a hundred dollars at the mall. If you went ahead and umped that up to 3.3, 3.4, you're paying 150 or more, right? Let's just be realistic, right? So prices have changed, times have changed. So I had to come have a come to Jesus moment with myself. Like, okay, you are really tripping because I'm saying in my mind, oh, I wouldn't pay no more than forty dollars for that. I'm not paying no more than fifty dollars for that. But yet and still. I'm spending $150, $200 for something that doesn't even bring me near the joy the $30 bottle bring. So I want to come on here and say, mm-mm, recant. <laughs> Recanting. All right, so this bottle right here from Latapa. I paid like 30-something bucks, I think, when it came out or whatever. And this is opulent red. Girl, I might have paid $25. I don't remember what it was. Maybe $33. I would pay 60 for this today. I would pay 60 to, and I know what it smells like. I know how I feel when I wear it. It's almost empty. I told y'all I need another bottle. I would pay the 60 bucks for this. Even though it came in a little funny looking box, like a little paper box, you know, nothing fabulous, no fabulous presentation. The scent alone, the projection, longevity, the uniqueness of this scent alone, I would pay double the price for this. I love the scent. It is what it is. Speaking of packaging being extremely basic, we're going to talk about this packaging right here that y'all just, you know, you y'all just love this brand. Chanel. Regular old little paper box, right? How much is this, this fragrance now? I'm going to see if I can look it up before I put this video up. This is the box. This is it. This is the fragrance. I hardly ever wear this fragrance. 
I like it. It has heavy on patchouli, but oh, it does smell good. But it doesn't make me feel <laughs> like what I feel what I wear. This, you see, what I'm saying. So there is, there are some exceptions to this rule of me trying to be cheap here. Like, and I think that it all stems from uh, what I'm used to, what I'm accustomed to. When we were traveling, the Bible would have these beautiful fragrances, these fancy, beautiful oil bottles with real oud that, you know, they don't really, everything's pretty much synthetic now. You have to spend some coins to get that. But they would have all these bougie, like Middle Eastern fragrances I've never heard, seen in bottles everywhere, right? And those bottles, some of those would be like one, two, three hundred dollars. And you knew that was like, ooh, that's royalty, okay? Four, five, that's royalty. Nowadays, little bottles with some crystals on top is three hundred dollars for a fragrance that doesn't last. So, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to stop complaining about noise fragrances going up because unless it's something that doesn't last, um, it doesn't bring me joy and it's like, oh girl, this is just whatever. Why would they even, I'm not, that's different. But these other bottles, for example, this bottle right here, this is Nebris, right? So Nebris, when I first got it, it was like $30. It might be 50 now. I don't know. I don't care. When it runs out, I'll buy another bottle. <sighs> Memory card full. Nebris. You see this box? You see this packaging? That's the packaging alone. The actual um, fragrance bottle that the fragrance, you know, came in. And the fragrance is, I don't know. I mean, it's. I think it's worth more than 30 40 bucks. It is what it is. I think we just become accustomed to those really good smelling $25, $15 fragrances from like Latafa, right? Um, and then underneath the umbrella, you have like uh, the Maison Alhambra line and stuff like that. So I think we just got accustomed to that. Now, do I want the fragrances to go up in cost? No, I don't. I really don't. So I say that all this to say, um, yeah, I think I was wrong for Amber Oud Ultraviolet. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Let me put this back in this box. I'm just saying. Like, look at this packaging. Y'all see this? This is crazy. And then let me show you this packaging. So this is Overture from Amouage. Little simple. Almost cuz. <laughs> A little simple box with this expensive fragrance. Now, I have spent some coins on fragrances that come in like little boxes. And um, $200 for fragrances that I barely even um, spray. Now, I do like Roses Riveranza and um, Oud Ambrosia. But, of course, um, when it comes to, like, those more... I, but I like Body Out Oud, uh, Oud for Glory More. Like, and it was, what, $25. So, yeah, I would pay probably 50 bucks for that fragrance. Now, I know what it smells like. Because um, I wear that more than I wear this. And I spent a lot of money on this. I love this fragrance. But that one just keeps coming up more. Keeps coming up more. Anyway, so um, all Hermain, right? So all Hermain has gone up in prices on pretty much all their fragrances. All right. Some of them are dupes. Some of them are clones. So that's where things kind of get a little tricky. So you might see one where it's like 50, 60 bucks for a fragrance. You get a nice presentation bottle. You got a box. You get a beautiful bottle, whatever, right? And I think this alone warrants the $60 that it is. I'm going to go on and say it. Um, beautiful fragrance. Some people say that um, they feel it's reminiscent or duping Gucci Bloom. I feel it's not. I feel Gucci Bloom's a lane of its own. They're just, because of the jasmine and... Um, I think that people are equating these with Jasmine Tuberose, but they're not. Anyway, I said it to say 55, 60 bucks. Yeah, I guess so. Like at this point, these, their fragrances, they last long, they project, they're really good scents. Uh, the ones that there are scents alone where they're not duping and cloning something, it's really good. Um, the ones that dupe and clone, I've told you before, I feel like some of those are better than the original for me. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy all hard remain fragrances. It is what it is. And I'm not going to say don't pay no more than $40 for this. Girl, this bottle is heavy. It is, the juice inside of it is good. If you like the white florals, you like the scents, really and truly $60 is like, $60 is like nothing in the fragrance world right now. I'm going to tell you, I spent $119. Was it $119? 100 bucks. Let's say 100 bucks on this little bitty bottle. Uh, Valentino 
um, what is this called, girl? Coral Fantasy, right? We all know it as a last song. I enjoyed that note at the top with that kiwi, that burst of fruit. It's so mouthwatering and beautiful. But you know how much I would have to spray to even, even reach the longevity and projection of this? Even though they're two different scents, two different, going two different ways, fruity, floral, floral, right? You know, this has some dense fruits. This is, um, this should have been $60. If I'm, you know what I'm saying? This should have been $60. Yeah, this should have been $60. I shouldn't have paid a hundred some dollars for this, but I like the scent. And it's a 1.7 ounce. It's not even a whole um, three ounce bottle. I don't know, it's a one point something. Maybe it's a one ounce bottle. Girl, I don't know, but it was expensive for what it was. Although I'm an Alien fan, y'all know I love Alien. I, every part of the line. Alien Goddess. We know it's not extremely long lasting fragrance. It is what it is. You get your little four and a half, five hours. Spray up if you want to re re up. But it's a really good scent. I enjoy it. Do I think it was worth the one something? What was it? One twenty nine? I don't even know what it was. So I paid. It's not even a full bottle. So maybe it was like one eighteen. It's not even the big bottle. This is like the smaller bottle, right? Do I think it was worth that? For me, I like the scent. I think it was worth it. But I think also I enjoyed this scent. Right? Okay, girl, I'm glad my toe wasn't over there. I enjoy this scent more than this scent. <laughs> and I'm complaining about how much this fragrance costs, which is Imperial from Armoff, now that they've gone up in prices, right? But I didn't even complain about this, and this doesn't even last. And I've worn this like almost every day since I've gotten it. I've layered it with other scents. I'm just obsessed with this fragrance. Yes, it is similar and very, um, very close to Delina exclusive, but I told you all it has something like extra to it that makes it like a little different and unique. Um, it's not really unique, but a little different. And um, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with this scent. Now at fifty, sixty dollars, whatever it was, opposed to the one something, I'm not obsessed with this. I love Alien, but I'm not obsessed with this. This is like, when can I wear it again? Where are we going so I can wear this real quick? Like that. This is, oh, it's summer. I might just spray. Hmm. And then I'm going to spray. 25 sprays, probably. To this 10. I'm not spraying 10. Yes, I am. Let me stop lying. I'm spraying 10. Or more. But this is good. Like, you, do you see what I'm saying? Even though it came with little package box, this little, you know, it's still, it's a good scent last one when this first came out what was it 25 dollars and everybody was like oh my god i went to 50 60 dollars i'm not but but we all can agree this is not cloning or duping said fragrance okay um, you know this is its own scent that has a little take on the original right um presentation little fake mirror in the back you know this bottle is heavy as i don't know what but like look coming yak in the glass right and this is a really beautiful fragrance that I think is worth 50, 60 bucks. We just wanted it at $25, $30. Now, all this is my opinion, right? But if we're honest with ourselves, some of these fragrances that we're paying at 25, 30 bucks are outlasting, outprojecting, outperforming, smell amazing than some of these other fragrances that are just, right? Like, I've gotten a few, like, niche fragrances over time where I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe I spent this much money on this fragrance. Or a few designer fragrances where I'm at Macy's and they just, can you want to smell this? And they got me. Or at Nordstrom and I'm like, oh, this is good. I'm about to get this. This smells good. Needless to say, girl, I didn't even walk around with the fragrance. I just purchased it, went home, and was like, is it over? Is it gone? You know, but I done bought it already kind of thing. So, Yeah. I'm being cheap. This is a whole new year. This is 2023. Girl, 19, that would have been 1999. 1998. 98, 99, 2000. This is 25 years later. And I still want the like fragrances from the Middle East to be like 10, 15 bucks. Like, how realistic is this for me? And not only did they go up in price because, you know, times change, whatever, packaging costs, they're shipping all this stuff from over there. I mean, ship it alone. If you've ever packaged a package and sent it to someone like an army or something, right, overseas, you already know shipping alone is the price of one of these fragrances. 
<laughs> let's keep it real. So we know these fragrances are probably coming in bulk on a container, being dropped and you know distributed to like strippers, right? But at the end of the day, these fragrances are heavy. These bottles are heavy. They're they're these are not lightweight like cheapy, you know, thin bottles, right? These are heavy. So yeah, I'm being cheap. I'm being cheap. I'm being cheap. I'm gonna start just getting out of that mind frame of everything has to be fifteen twenty dollars when it doesn't. Cause I mentioned that when I went to the uh, stores too, how there's so much more. Yes, yeah, the store they have to pay for a storefront. They have to pay their bills. They have to pay their rent for their space or whatever they're doing. So then I was saying, oh, I ordered online and I would get it ten dollars cheaper. Like I'm being cheap. <laughs> I'm being cheap. Frugal, what do you want to call it, girl? I'm going to say cheap because I know me. I'm being cheap. And I, I need to get out that mind frame, especially if it's something I'm enjoying. It's a beautiful scent. And like I said, it brings me joy. Um, I think certain things are worth the money. So when it comes to um, Armoff, um, I think it's worth the money. Um, I haven't gotten it. I haven't purchased a fragrance from Armoff that I did not think was worth the money. I haven't purchased a fragrance from Aharamain. Um, La Taffa, I might have had one or two back in the day. Swiss Arabian. Swiss Arabian has always been a beautiful, like, unique experience for me. This is where I first experienced um, um, tobacco was through Swiss Arabian, and that was years ago. And I just didn't know they had, like, fragrances that smell like smoke. And I've always been intrigued in, like, myrrh, fragrance, and smoke like smoke scents, I really enjoy them. Uh, not just on me, but just in general, right? That's why I burn incense so much. I'm, I really love that scent, sandalwood. So that's how I learn about oils, and I would see people selling oils at the beauty shop, you know, they come through or whatever, and I would always be like, like frown upon them because I used to get oils overseas. I know what it, what it really smells like, opposed to like the little, you know, stuff we get now. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna say, I, girl, I've been cheap. Like at this point, come on now. I'm asking for a lot for nothing. And I'm asking for something that's gonna give me 10, 12 hours for $20. Like at what point? So there is another fragrance. It's like 60 something. It comes in a bottle like this. I forget it's the little pinkish one or whatever. I'm probably gonna order that one too because I'm probably gonna like it too. And $60, like, are you serious? You know, girl, I spent $60 on I don't even know bottles of water and liquid IV and during the week when I'm working out. Like I don't know it's on a pillowcase. I, I mean, just ridiculous. Um, don't pay me no mind. Please don't pay me no mind. But um, I just wanted to say that because I felt like um, I was just and I get it. We all been complaining about how Millie's fragrance is going up, and I say this all the time. If you see a fragrance that's like 30, 40 bucks and you really want it, grab it because it's probably going to go up in price. And the one thing about these Middle Eastern fragrances, the more we talk about them, the more we bring them to the forefront. Because at one point, none of this was on YouTube. Not not these fragrances. And if they were, it was little pockets of people here and there. I don't remember seeing anybody on here except for hair videos, makeup, you know, back in the day, right? So now that it's to the forefront, people are talking about it. The prices are going up. The demand for it's going up. TikTok is blowing them up. And, um, yeah, they're just raising prices because we're going to pay for them. It is what it is. But at the same time, they've been coming out with some bangers. Like, you know, I be thinking to myself that certain designers could never, certain niche other companies could never, like even touch some of these people um, and their fragrances and their blends, right? Now, some of them are cheap and it's like, oh, good, y'all tripping. But then, you know, when you think about other houses that are duping, like um, Dua went up on fragrances and the bottle's one ounce. I mean, you're gonna pay 60 bucks for a one ounce bottle. Uh, Okay, and then you have people like, uh, what is that brand? People, um, Alt, right? They're not cheap either. I mean, they're not fifteen, twenty dollars. You know, they're actually in a little funny looking clear bottle that just changed the labels on it for what, 40, 50 bucks? Maybe they're 50 bucks now. I don't know. What is it, a one ounce, too? I don't even think it's a whole big bottle either. Now that I think about it. And then there was another one I ordered one time. I remember paying 60 bucks for something. And it was the uh, larger bottle, but it's also a dupe. I mean, like, come on now. Even Dossier is what, well, we can get Dossier with some cute boys. But, you know, I don't know about now, but we were able to get them $19, $20 at one point. But let's just say they're 30, 40 bucks for these fragrances. 
you're paying for a regular clear bottle with a white sticky label on it that smells like right but it's clean ingredient too so it's weird like as much as i love dossier and y'all know um I, I still order from them you know they tick me off a little bit i still have ordered from them i still feel like i'm paying the money for that but then i want to complain about the price of this like make it make sense make it make sense so i just want to call myself out on, on the curb for that um you know i just drag myself it is what it is but i'm a big girl i can handle it you know when you hit like this age this big girl age 49 teetering on 50 yeah don't shit really bother you no more you could call yourself out and be like whatever it is what it is it's, it's something i said i'm owning up to it and like I said before, when it comes to fragrances like this, where I was spending $200 in a minute on the fragrance uh, for the, this is my favorite bottle. My favorite, this, this then Girl On, right? Then Masera. So it is what it is. Some, some Masera fragrances I actually paid more and didn't get it through the discount, right? And I love the fragrances, but some of my love, these, some of these, I love more than some of my Masera fragrances. And they are, in my opinion, some of these I would rather the price have been switched. Like, I'm not even wearing this hardly. Y'all know what I'm saying. So just wanted to calm myself to the curb and, you know, drag myself like, ma'am, stop it. So you won't hear me complain about these prices no more unless it's something I think is worth complaining about. I think that at this day and age, food is going up, travel, uh, everything, household expenses and everything else is just, I mean, gas should be 99 cents. Y'all remember that? You might not, you might be too young, but anyway, she's not signing the times. It is what it is. I mean, you go to the store, get a bag of chips, a little like bag of laid chips for $2.49 at Target. Ask me how I know. I was starving yesterday. I don't even eat chips unless it's tortillas. So, yeah, I'm just saying, like $2.49 for that little. I got to the register, I was like, ma'am, I know you're tripping. No, I did not. But anyway, um, it is what it is. So that's it for me. It's my two cents on dragging myself. And yes, I'm being cheap. I'm not saying no one else is. I am. And um, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Some of these bottles and these presentations, I'm like, are you tripping? Because even this bottle, I mean, it's iconic. But what's so special about this bottle? Because it's Chanel. People are so quick to say, oh, the top is plastic and da da da. Okay. I'm going I hope you all have an amazing day. And um, just think about it. I'm not spending that much money on a Middle Eastern fragrance. Like, what makes them not worthy of, like, some of this pricing? Is it the name brand? Is it the fact that some of these fragrances are duping other fragrances? Or is it just because we have uh, become accustomed to the Middle Eastern um, brand of fragrances, like the, all these houses, rather, being so affordable? Swiss Arabian and Chagraf Oud, when y'all started talking about it, it, went from 19 to 50 dollars. But now, if you look for it now, you're going to get it for 20. Like, you just hold on. It's coming back down. But, you know, it's just the hype of it. And it's the time of season. They they know they come in full, come fall and winter. They know when to up these prices. And they know when to um, up the prices on certain fragrances that are due for certain houses. I mean, they feel if you could pay $300 for this bottle, you'll be okay to pay 50 or 60 for this one. That's pretty much, you know, yeah, I don't know what I'm seeing. But anyway, I'm out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your two cents down below. And uh, like I said, when you get older, some of this stuff is like, <sighs> pay for what you want, get what you want, worry about the price later. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure you are subscribed. If you like this type of video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Peace and blessings.